Thanks for tuning in to No Wine in No Time. I'm your host Dave and today I'm going to introduce you to a grape called Cananao, but more specifically Cananao di Sardinia. So grown on the Italian island of Sardinia, the grape Cananao rose to fame when TV host and doctor Dr. Oz said it was good for your health. He touted the high antioxidant and resveratrol content in this particular wine. And he said, consumed in moderation, it would reduce cholesterol and act as a vasodilator. It was actually good for your heart. So what really was the basis for this? Well, what's interesting is in the island of Sardinia, they have more centenarians than any other place in the entire world. So do we owe that all to Cananao? Well, let's look at some of the lifestyle in Sardinia. So Sardinia is an island in the Mediterranean Sea, and in that area, the people eat a diet that is high in fish. Also, they cook with olive oil significantly. Around that island, there's more walking, and they eat much less processed foods than you eat in other parts of the world. So while Cananao and its high antioxidants and its high resveratrol content may have something to do with it, it may just be the overall life of the Sardinians that allow them to get to 100 years old and more. So let's get back to the grape Cananao. It's a very late ripening grape. So what that means is its grapes are ripening later in the season. So it's so happy to be grown on the island of Sardinia. That's an area where it's warm all the time. It also flourishes in the south of France. Wait a second, did I say south of France? Yes, I did. And Cananao actually has a synonym name that is very popular in the south of France, and that is Grenache. So if you think you know Cananao, if you know Grenache, then you absolutely do. DNA testing makes it the exact same grape. Cananao is what the Italians call Grenache. Obviously, Grenache is what the French call that particular grape. So what does it produce? It produces a full-body, medium acid, medium tannic wine that tends to be higher in alcohol because the grapes are ripening later. Because of that, they get a higher sugar content, higher sugar content, the higher potential for alcohol. So if you love Grenache, you might want to try Cananal de Sardinia and see if you like that brand of Grenache. So let's take a look at it and see exactly what we might expect. If we see it in the glass, we notice that it is a deep, dark purple in color. You really cannot see through the wine. Uh, it's quite opaque. If we swirl to liberate some of the aromas, what comes out of the glass is everywhere from plum to black raspberry to a little bit of cherry type aromas with a little bit of earthy minerality, and in this wine, I certainly detect some oak. I can smell the oak, so that's not a characteristic of the grape. That's more a characteristic of the post-fermentation process. So let's go ahead and taste the wine. So certainly you can see the Grenache in Italy's brand of Cananao. It enters the palate with that little bit of plum type of pudding flavor, almost like a plum compote, and it kind of fades into a cherry bordering on black raspberry. But all the way through that, we have a little bit of spiciness, a little bit of almost like incense uh, to the wine. Uh, and then the finish is actually quite tannic. So we feel the tannins, we feel the weight of the wine, and we know that this would be something that's really well paired with either A, heavier beef type dishes, or wilder game uh, like boar, uh, like goat, uh, and even things like lamb. So I'm going to enjoy a little bit of uh, Denore's uh, Cananal de Sardinia. I ask that you come back next time, because soon you'll know wine in no time. Mm -hmm.